All right, guys, I got my old Toro recycler that I've had about 12 years, and um, I got to change the cord on it. Looks a little old because I keep it outside, but it still cranks up in about two pulls. But as you can see, my cord right here, I'm going to replace it. See that cord? Right there, I'm going to replace it. Easy replacement. And then I'm going to pull it, show you that it pulls and uh, cranks in two pulls. So the first thing you want to do is I had to screw the, unscrew the top two screws and this pulls on off. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm guessing I got to take these bolts off right here also so I can get to everything. So I got all four, three or four bolts out. So it looks like I gotta take this rubber piece off. So let me get this off. So I had to get the, the bass mouth. Take the it'll come right on off. Right there. A little fuel, not a whole lot of it. Alright, so next up look like I'm gonna have to take the whole top piece off. Got a couple of screws too right there. And I think one right here. The other one is not there anymore. So I got those two. Right down at the bottom. Now I gotta take the oil stick loose. Alright, so once you get the oil stick stick taken out, it comes on out, as you can see. Right here. I should be able to take this off. There we go. I can get to what I need to get to. Alright there. So I'm going to cut this old, old one right here. I'm going to cut it. Make sure once you cut it that you know the pattern. So you can get it where it needs to go. Alright guys. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rope. All right, so I'm gonna measure about how much rope we need with the old one that I just took off. All right, guys, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pull it through here. And then you're gonna fish it in through your, your top piece right here. It goes like this. See that? Then before that, you still got to run it through here. Run it through here. This goes like this. Bam. And now we're going to get the top. All right, now is where we weave it through here. As you can see, you got to come through here first. And then you'll wind it. Here's where you feed everything through. Let me get it right here so you can see if we can see this hole. There are two little holes right there. One goes right there. Just like that. Alright, so as you can see, I was able to feed it through the hole. Comes in right here. What we're going to do next, we're going to wind it up right in here. kind of hard doing it by yourself so you kind of get it so I'm gonna pause it real quick and wind it up and make sure everything lines up all right so I got it in I'm about to tie the knot 
that's gonna be the next thing I do. You wanna use your flathead, stick it in between the holes, that way it won't wind back up. All right, right here, not tied. I'm gonna cut the little excess um, wire off, or the rope. All right, so, taking it out, it's gonna wind on up some. There we go. So we want right here. All right, so I got the head back on. All right, oil stick back on. All right, gas tank back on. Now I need to pull and make sure everything's gonna crank up before I put everything back on. So I'm gonna try to do that first. All right, other head back on. All right, everything's back together. I'm gonna crank her up in just a minute. All right, I just washed and cleaned up. I'm about to pull her and see what she do. This thing is about 12, 13 years old right here. Let's see, new cord. Let's see. Might have to put you down for just a minute. 